Hey, y'all, first off, side note, I don't have much to say about the Colorado ballot thing until it gets past the Old Testament tribunal-ass Supreme Court of ours. We'll see how it actually all turns out, right? But no, I wanted to make a Christmas video because it's only five days away. Tis the season, y'all. And I just want to put this little missive out here and, and ask y'all, this Christmas season, don't forget to set aside some time and praise the Dark Lord Satan in his unholy name. That's right. Feel the malignant spirit, baby. That's right. The most fetid of blessings indeed. Nah, I'm just kidding. Satan ain't real, obviously. But that doesn't stop him from having quite the moment in the sun this Christmas season. Satan's been everywhere. He has. There's a Satan statue in the Iowa State House. All these after-school Satan clubs popping up around the country, all of which has been threatening to collapse the global pearl economy on account of all the clutching that Christians are doing over it, which is how you know it's working, baby. And none of it's actually about Satan. It's the satanic temple which is an organization that advocates for benevolence and empathy opposes tyrannical authority and encourages practical common sense thinking so right off you can tell why christians hate them right now but that's why they do these things they do these things to illustrate important arguments about freedom of religion and freedom of speech right that's what they're about it has nothing to do with a red skin pitchfork feller running around trading souls for fiddle lessons and shit like it ain't about that so you might ask well why use satan at all because it works right if the organization was called the sane person's club for making sense and doing good nobody would have ever heard of it but they understand that christians can never resist a moral panic especially one of the satanic variety and as a result nearly every american is aware of their cause right the satan stuff works it also has the added benefit of being metal as fuck so there's that too their merch is way more kick-ass this way but anytime Christians hear Satan come up, they lose their minds. They start freaking out. They think it's a threat to Christmas and their way of life and all they hold dear Christians. I have a message for you. I need you to listen to me right now, okay? Look at me. Look at me. I am a boring suburban family man, married father of two. I love Christmas, love it, favorite holiday, Yulest of tidings, gayest of apparel, all that. I bake gingerbread houses for all the grandkids every year from scratch, bitches. That's the Christmas energy I'm bringing to the table. Wholesome AF, all right? That's me. I also love Satan. Big fan. Why? Bunch of reasons. He parties hard, shreds guitar, dresses sharp as hell, never gets offended, unlike you people, right? And most importantly, and I really cannot stress this enough, he is not actually real, and I understand that. That's what y'all need to know about all of us Americans who are on the side of the satanic temple here. We're not actually worshiping the devil. We're not eating babies. I've had two babies of my own in the house with me for the past 12 years. I ain't ate them yet, you know, and I can't even walk through the kitchen without stopping for two more goddamn Christmas tree cakes, right? Like, we're, ju we're just regular people. All right, that's all. We're not trying to bring about the end times. We're not trying to make it rain blood. Although, if it was accompanied by purple lightning, that would be kind of rad. That's not what we're trying to do. All we're trying to do is push back on y'all a little bit, and if we can, stop you from shoving your beliefs down everybody else's throat all the time. That's all. That's it. So, with that said, I sincerely hope you have a very Merry Christmas, because I can promise you, my Satan loving ass is going to. What's up, YouTube? Back with more in just a second. But I want to ask you a question. Are you trying to do better, trying to eat less carbs? But do you love noodles? Lord knows I understand that struggle, baby. Well, luckily, this video sponsor, Emmy, is here to help. Emmy is the tastiest way to cut carbs from your diet so you can still get your noodle fix without any of the guilt or the food coma. Each packet of Emmy contains 21 grams of protein and six grams of net carbs, and you can choose from six chef-crafted vegan flavors like black garlic chicken, spicy beef, tom yum shrimp. I'm a spicy beef guy because I think everything's better with a little kick to it. You know, Emmy is great for people who are on their own fitness journey or trying to eat less carbs or just have less time but still want to eat something nutritious that makes them feel full. Me, I'm using Emmy because it lets me eat ramen again. Praise the Lord, y'all. Emmy has 300 calories and 85% less net carbs than traditional instant ramen so I can eat one of my favorite things without having to feel guilty about it. I love this stuff. Y'all need to try it. And if you want to, I got the hookup for you. Go to emmyeats.com slash tray or click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. That's right. You can get 15% off by clicking the link in the description below or going to emmyeats.com slash T-R-A-E. Also, Emmy offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's literally risk-free. You don't even got to return it. They'll still give you your money back. It's a pretty sweet deal. Y'all need to check them out, so try Emmy today. All right, YouTube, we're back. How'd you like that noodle video? First time sponsor. I'm glad to be getting into the noodle game. I do always kind of wonder whenever I do one of those, like, they. I wonder what they're going to think when they see that I put their noodle in a, in a I love Satan video. <laughs> like, I don't, you know. 
<laughs> I don't know how that's going to go over. I mean, maybe they're downsetting. I don't know. Noodles seem like they should be a-religious to me. But anyway, there are some good-ass noodles. We're a noodle household, so you know, should try them. I just think it's funny that the bombs I drop on people sometimes with this shit. But now, uh, to circle back a little bit just for y'all, just for the YouTube people, to the Trump Colorado thing, I just have no faith that it will amount to it. I have no faith in anything actually good ever happening anymore for the most part, right? I still think that he can be beaten in an actual election, but with this, I'm not, I just don't know. There's too many ways it can be flipped upside down. There's too many ways it can go south and turn bullshitty. It gives them more ammunition for all the bullshit that they're doing. I'm not like, per the letter of what the 14th Amendment says, he absolutely should be removed from consideration. Of course, I believe that. I just never expected it to happen, and despite this, I still kind of don't. I hate to be overly negative, but I just... I don't think so. You know, I mean, the conniption fit he's thrown and everything is going to be mighty funny and enjoyable. But yeah, I think we're still going to have, I think come November, it's going to be the same thing it was always going to be, which is to say, we got to show up. We got to do the job because it's going to be him and Biden. And that's just the way it is. All this other shit aside, however it all plays out. That's what I think. But with that said, I do hope y'all have a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. And close out this year strong. Lord knows it's been yet another nightmare. But luckily, 2024 is going to be uneventful and easy for us to coast through, right? Nothing big coming up in 2024. But no, we'll be fine. We'll get through it together. And so, happy holidays, happy new year, all that good shit to you. And I appreciate you very much. So, this before I go, I'm going to put these things up here. This is my special. Watch my comedy special. Damn, boy. Good Christmas content. Not really. But it was filmed at Christmas time. But you can't tell. Anyway, it's good. Check it out. Also, subscribe to the channel. Get all these videos and all the podcasts and stuff that I do. And then also... Uh, the most important one for me, TreyCrowder.com. That's the other little circle. Come see me do stand-up live. That's mostly what I am as a stand-up comedian. It's fun. Maybe if I'm coming to your city, you come see me. All right, but the important thing is y'all keep watching these silly things. And as long as you do, I'll keep making them. So I love you like chicken. Merry Christmas. See you. Bye.